be checking in tasks, many devil and getting my Lola. Hold me on your shoulders when hitting the bucket and screaming, I'm yeah, they got the double, yeah. Never really knew what I had till now. Taking now, take a look around. Seal that account and hit the ground. I ain't mad. Why are you mad? I might say just play that. Jordan, jump up like you got the power. Break a window, make sure that you wake a neighbor. Why you mad? We're acting on our best behavior. Man, why you mad? Never mind no flow copain. Sip the sun kiss eating low man. I'm too special to be a no name. Taking my time but the low flame. Going cold red. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Up next, the Mavericks taking on the Thunder. For the Dallas Mavericks, they pride themselves on each and every step that leads to victory. The preparation, the focus, the sheer will. Each game a new opportunity to prove their identity. Thunder, Mavs, the tip-off coming right after this. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Well, Commissioner Adam Silver has a history lesson for those who would tell players to shut up and dribble. He says in 1963, Bill Russell was MVP, won a title, and stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial for Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. There is a through line that exists directly from Russell to our modern players. Kevin? That's a great story, D.A., thanks. We are in for a treat in this matchup, Greg, with two conference rivals set to clash yet again. Yeah, we're going to see some added effort and intensity, and, and don't be surprised if it gets a little chippy. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. At the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. Up front, it's Finney Smith at the four, with Wood at the five. And it's Bullock in at the three, the small forward. And for Oklahoma City, we'll see Dort and Baisley playing it forward. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Holmgren in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Giddy, Dort attacking. Back to Giddy, just five on the clock. And that one's off, and this is his first shot of the game. To the paint, here's Wood, and finished off by Wood. Luka Doncic made it known early in his career. He is one of the best passers in the NBA. Giddy the pass to Dort. Back to Giddy. Pulls it up. Nails the wide open jump shot. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all around player. This guy makes it look easy. I think when you begin talking about the Oklahoma City Thunder, the first name you have to bring up, obviously, Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's a guy who can lead an organization, both with his skill set and his leadership abilities. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Baisley. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. He can, and for the Thunder Doors, they are so excited about SGA being the face of their team. 
Well, the commitment they made tells you all you need to know. He signed through the year 2027, meaning he's here for the long haul, and he has a great attitude about it. They have told him you are a cornerstone here in Oklahoma City. The Thunder have gone two or three here to start out the game. Giddy, no good from outside. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. Bullock with it. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. The offensive rebound. Finney Smith kicks to Wood. Passes to Doncic. Here's Finney Smith. It's blocked. And there's the foul. It'll go on Christian Wood. That is his first foul of the game. First Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Unloads from 13. Well, this is the kind of effort you want to see from Luka Doncic. We know how good he is offensively. Right there playing solid D. And it's Bullock in the corner. Shoots over George. Dallas again missing. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And that one is stuffed right through. How's that for a show? Dort looking like he wants to be in the dunk contest with slams like that. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejection. Wow. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. After Luka Doncic's miss, fires the three. Dort misses. The Mavericks trailing. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call it an underrated defender. And here is Giddy. After Luka Doncic hitting the three. Giddy finds Dort. Pass to Baisley. And here is Giddy. Just four to shoot. Here's Dort. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's Finney Smith. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Doncic, no good. The Thunder have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Giddy kicks to Dort. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's fascinating to watch Dort evolve his game. He's raised his free throw percentage to 84% last year. And for the first time in his career, he shot over 40% from the field. First free throw is good. So what would you say is next for Dort in his development? You know, Kevin, I'd like to see him get to the line more often. He has room to grow as a playmaker. Uh, of course, locking down the consistency from range. But he has the work ethic to make all of that happen. Dallas making a switch here. JaVale McGee's check in for Christian Wood. Mike Powell comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Frank Nielikin is checked in for Reggie Bullock. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Luka Doncic. Now here's Powell. Inside, Nielikina shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And the question for the Mavs is simple. How do you best build around Luka Doncic? They'll try to answer that in the coming years. So, Greg, it just seems for the Mavs it's all about finding the right fit for the role players. And that's why this team was willing to move on from Porzingis. Going forward, you can see them look a lot like the Harden era Rockets. Okashevsky's checked in for Oklahoma City. Frank Nielakina brings outstanding size to the position. It's about playing with confidence and playing under control on the offensive end. Robinson Earl, the pass to Muscala. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Neely Kina kicks to McGee. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound to the middle. It's tipped. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. You can see the kind of confidence Hardaway has in his shot. This guy is so fluid in the catch-and-shoot situations. 
outside Williams. A three-pointer, no good. Dallas has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And it's good, two points. Well, Frank Nielakina has exceptional basketball IQ, so he understands when to take advantage of the mid-range. The pass to Williams. And Muscala has it in the corner. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Dinwiddie finds Hardaway. Powell, that's good. Well, you assist want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Williams passes to Mann. On the wing, Williams. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And they pick up two. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Here's Powell. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. That's about great concentration. Dwight Powell under duress of the defense finishes nonetheless. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Dinwiddie, and he comes up with the deuce. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Mavericks lead by three. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the split. game to the first quarter and we'll see what happens here in the second and what do you think guys about Dallas here in this one playing inside out in that first quarter led to some high percentage shots in the paint it is great when you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game on the floor right now for the Mavericks the backcourt pair will be Doncic and Dinwiddie Maxi Kleba is out there with Davis Berton and it's Finney Smith in at the three Here's Giddy. After Luka Doncic's bucket, Baisley could. Well, you have got to be impressed with Josh Giddy's awareness of where his teammates are at all times. Out to Doncic. Now, here's Kleba. He's covered closely. Shakes him. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And home court advantage can give teams a huge lift. Greg, how different is it playing in front of the hometown paint? It's huge. I mean, they give you energy. You don't want to let them down. So you tend to dig a little deeper when you're playing at home. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. Now, here's George. Here's Basley. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And with Doncic in the pick and roll game, he's so good at such a young age. It's amazing how well he reads the defense, but he can also freeze the defender or create confusion with that hesitation. He has all the tricks to run it. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. I think what you love about Shea Gilgis Alexander is the size, athleticism, and instincts he brings to the position. This guy has the whole package. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Hitty has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. King said he's really, really good. He has a great pace about the game, great vision, 
Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game a lot quicker than most guys out on the floor. And he's showing it. He's just been playing beautiful basketball. Kevin, that's high praise. It is both amazing passers. David, thank you. And he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. A different look for Dallas. Christian Wood comes in for Davis Bertolas. And it's Reggie Bullock in for Dinwiddie. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Finney Smith passes to Wood. And Holmgren pulls it down. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. He can't hit that time. Nice D from Doncic. From deep three-point range, sinks it. What a shoot from outside. Wow. Doncic has got 14 points for the game. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. You know, one thing, Greg, the Thunder have done a great job drafting international players. Players like Serge Ibaka, Steven Adams in the past, a few good ones on this current roster as well. Credit the OKC scouts for just having you guys all over the world. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Here's Baisley. Pass to Giddy. Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at five. Shoots from 12. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Ten-point lead, this is their biggest. Kicks to Bullock. Back to Doncic. For the three. He can't hit that one. And the Thunder going the other way now. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And some very quick points for him on that possession. He's got six. This guy is quickly developing into an outstanding playmaker, Josh Giddy. Nice setup. On Jitch passes to Kleba. A three. And it's Baisley with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Giddy. Again, Oklahoma City. Yeah, Josh Giddy taking the in-between game because that's what the defense conceded. Doncic outside. Pass to Kleba. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And when you look at Kleber, for me, his makeup leads you to believe that he's the kind of player you can win with. GA, this guy has the frame for it. He stands 6'10", 240 pounds. He's one of the best defenders in the league, and nobody talks about that. The key for me is, does his confidence remain high? Because he can stretch it out to three, and if his confidence doesn't wane, he's a major force. Dallas leading by seven. Over in the corner, Doncic. Dallas again missing. For Oklahoma City, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Here's Robinson Earl. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. With repetition, you can see the court awareness of Shea Gilgis Alexander developing. This guy is going to be a problem as a passer. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. And you can tell right there, the defense is totally fine with him shooting that. That's not his game. And it's in there. Doncic has got 13 points in just this quarter. Well, we're talking about one of the league's best scorers. And the confidence Luka Doncic has in himself to take over is readily on display. Here's Mann. No points in the game yet for him. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. And yes. the whistle blows. It's going to be a Luka Doncic. And that is his first foul of the game. Okashevsky's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Mavericks. Mike Powell comes in for Maxi Kleba. Off the inbound. 
McMahon gets the bucket. Hey guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Now to Hardaway. Bullock passes the puck. And he makes good on the way up. Like Powell. Powell's got six points. You love how Powell goes to work on the block, muscles his way to establish himself and deliver. Wiggins with it. Now the pass to Robinson Earl. Back to Wiggins. Great D that time from Hardaway. Mavericks leading by seven. And here's Doncic from the arc. Rebound by Muscala. Oklahoma City's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's Mann. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Luka Doncic. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And 79% from the line a season ago. Pretty consistent there as a free throw shooter. And he can't get the first one. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Williams is checked in. And then for Dallas. Nilakina, he's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Doncic. So he can't get either to fall. Dallas has gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just 2 of 6 from long range. Dinwiddie kicks to Hardaway. Back to Dinwiddie. Off target from three-point range. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And we'll be right back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports. The first quarter for the Mavericks was fairly even. And trying as they might, they couldn't push their lead past four points for the Mavericks. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot. Overall, they're making every position count. And over to Kenny, your thoughts on the Thunder's first half. Well, they had a tough half defensively, and they weren't rotating. Guys were open. They weren't rotating to the shooters. In fact, they weren't even moving their feet. And the offense took advantage of that. So they got to go back to the fundamentals if they want to get back in this game. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out. But, boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. And let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And it's Wood with the ball for the Mavericks. A pairing up front, Baisley and Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Dort in at the three spot. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. This team has credited Giddy's background for shaping him as a player. You know, he grew up in a house dominated by basketball. Both his parents played professionally in Australia. And that goes a long way toward developing your basketball IQ. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, the Thunder are trying to build something that will last. The front office says you stick to your principles, your values, and you think long term. We're focused on building a sustainably great team. We continue to be forward-facing in that respect. Kevin, back to you. It's a good philosophy, and they're not looking for any shortcuts, which is admirable. David, thanks. I'll tell you what, that's what you call a ferocious rebound. Josh Giddy sending a message on the putback. Bullock, and it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. That's out of bounds for Mavericks, able to retain possession here. 
And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. And a minute played as the second half gets going. And Hardaway gets it to go. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got six. On the wing, Giddy. Guarded by Hardaway. Giddy the pass to Holmgren. Up top, Dort. He's guarded by Bullock. Count that one. Dort's got his second basket of the night. Well, Dort touched the paint, and he was immediately thinking score. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. There is no let up in this man. He is doing everything in his power to keep this game close. Conchick's outside. Outside Hardaway. Pocket six. With the shot. And Doncic gets it to go. Doncic has got the lead up to 10 now for the man. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Dort. Now, here's Holmgren. Back to Dort. The Mavericks pull it in. To the inside. Wood. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got three assists tonight. And willing the ball into the bucket. Nothing has come easy to Wood. He's had to fight for his place here in the league. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Eight points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Mavericks leading by 10. And the Mavs fans are hoping this team, Doris, is poised to repeat the success of the early 2000s. Well, Kevin, I think you have to look at the deep run into the playoffs from last year where they finally figured out the pieces they need to have around their great star, Luka Doncic. Obviously, you need shooting across positions, but I think one thing you need to consider here the Dallas Mavericks, paint protection is critical. High-level defenders are critical. So do you need that presence of the paint and a vertical threat of the cup to enhance Luka's skills even more? And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game. And Greg Anthony for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Part of a growing trend in this NBA, giving his team length in the backcourt. Yes, yeah, 6'6 with a 6'11 wingspan. He can see over the top of the defense. He helps you on the glass. And he can switch onto front court players defensively. That's what teams are looking for nowadays. And the Thunder with the possession here. The Mavericks making the shot. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Fires from the line, and there's another one for the Thunder. Gilgis Alexander getting to the in-between game, taking what the defense gives him. Dinwiddie against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Nilekina. No good on the three. Thunder trailing by 10. Goes up on the wing, and Giddy gets it to go. Giddy's got eight. Now, this is going to help Josh Giddy's game. Boy, the confidence will rise if he can make these catch-and-shoot opportunities. Cleveland, no good. The Thunder have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. They get the rebound. Holmgren gets the bucket. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Dinwiddie passes to Bertus. Back to Dinwiddie. Terrific assist. A nice and nice solid play all around. Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. The Mavericks GA have been trying to tighten up their defense the past few seasons. And it's beginning to show. And we're seeing signs that the players are getting the message. That they're spending more energy at that end of the floor. And that's essential for any elite team. Alexei Pogusevsky. 137 left here in the third quarter. Gildas Alexander passes to man. Down low. Wide open look. Muscala gets the bucket. Muscala's got his second bucket tonight. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. 
Nash the Bear Chase. So the wing on the left. Here's Nilakina. Connects from three point range. He has six. Boy, Frank Nilakina has such an impressive wingspan, excellent size for his position, and when he rises up, he can go right over defenders. And the shot goes in. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got to be thinking jump shot, gave a little pump fake, and then off to the races. Dinwiddie passes to Finney Smith. Berton's kicks to Finney Smith. Here's Nilakina. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, that up fake draws the foul. Nilakina, remember, has been playing this game in Europe since he was very young. He's got a ton of experience. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. No good on that one. And this Thunder team in desperate need of a veteran. Someone on their way out that can still be productive and provide some leadership for the young guys. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. JaVale McGee's checked in for Maxi Kleba. And Dwight Powell subbed in for Bertens. Uncharacteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. Mavericks leading by seven. Feeds to Powell. Oh, and here comes Gilgis Alexander all alone. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Well, just a great read by Shea Gilgis Alexander, getting in transition, making it easy. The shot's good from McGee. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter, just served him up. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 points in just the second half. Great concentration through the contact. Gilgis Alexander, excellent focus. Dinwiddie dishes to Powell. Off target at the rim. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. It's Dallas. They lead by five. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. At the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. Reggie Bullock is out there with Dwight Powell, and it's Wood in at the center. Yes, that goes in. I like that. Lou Dort knows I don't have an opportunity, but I can put a pass on time and on target and get my teammate involved. Nicely done. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. Now, here's Bullock. The feed to Powell. Makes it off the glass. White Powell. And the Mavericks lead by five. But Powell's low post game, growing by leaps and bounds, does a great job getting around the defense. Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. And here's Doncic from the arc. Good on the triple. Doncic has got 21. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And here is Giddy after Luka Doncic hitting the three. Here's Dort again, Oklahoma City. Luke Dort able to keep his focus, shoot through an incredible contest. Nicely done. Doncic looking it over. Hardaway finds Powell. Out to Hardaway. Powell inside. 
It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Beasley's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Holmgren. And the jump by Holmgren. Boy, wide open teammate. Really pretty pass by Lou Dort. No hesitation there. Here's Hardaway. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist in this one. Thunder trailing by four. Pass to Giddy. Dort with the ball. Here's Holmgren. And he gets it to go from the high post. Holmgren's got four points this quarter. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. And they get it back. The three for Doncic. Offensive rebound. He dishes it to Powell. Back to Doncic. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. Thunder have gotten every shot they've taken so far in the fourth quarter to go in. That's five in a row to start the quarter. Nice job by Lou Dort to make his way to the corner and then make the shot. And the Mavericks call time here. We've got Who needs one? Make some noise! Hilgis Alexander's checked in for the Thunder. And Dallas with a change here, too. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Dwight Powell. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking Dorian about with his players. He got on his guys about allowing too many paint points. He said, hey, we've got to be scrappier. We've got to be quicker to help, quicker to collapse the lane. You guys know what to do. Now you got to give me the effort. I want to see some nasty. Kevin? Thank you, David. Giddy, no one around him. Misses the three. For Dallas, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Here's Doncic. An easy two points on the lane. Now it's a three-point Maverick lead. He has been taking and making big shots for a long time. Look at Doncic with the delivery. And there's the pass to Dort. To Gilgis Alexander. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Boy, that's the last thing they need. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Under trailing by three. And here is Gilgis Alexander. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Gets the bucket and the foul. Tim Hardaway picks one up. Defensive foul. Tim Hardaway. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Mavericks. A high effort brand of defense has been paying off for them in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. And they've also been scoring on the break. With how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court, any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Now, here's Doncic. Good on the shot. 25 points for Luka Doncic. Now, the ability to work around the defense and get himself free for a shot despite being in the paint. That is a beautiful play by Luka. Pass to Dort. No good that time. Now Dallas takes it the other way. Gilgis Alexander against Doncic. Now oh, here's Giddy. Guarded closer. Gilgis Alexander with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Dort. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Here's Dallas. The lead is two. Doncic passes to Wood, and Holmgren pulls it down. 
Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. And it's Doncic missing. Time, time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're behind by two. 20 seconds left in the game. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Smart anchor at passes, Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot. For the team. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander, despite his young age, has always been rock solid. That's confidence. Here's a big time moment for him to deliver. First free throw is good, and that narrows the gap to one. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And he's got such a smooth stroke, and it never changes even in this kind of a high-pressure situation. Doncic against Gilgis Alexander. Great job on the glass. Bodies down low, needing to fight for position. That's perfect. And so Mark Dagnall calls a timeout. Six seconds left to play here in the fourth. For the win. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Out front, it's Finney Smith at the four, with Wood at the five. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Reggie Bullock, and it's Dinwiddie in at the one. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Here's Finney Smith following the score by Oklahoma City. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Outside Hardaway to the paint. Shot clock at six. Oh, that's blocked. Giddy with it. Hardaway picks him up. Giddy gets to Gilgis Alexander. Baisley, and he gets the bucket. Baisley's got the lead up to four now for Oklahoma City. Boy, the more experience Baisley gets, the better he gets. Big time bucket. Dallas calls timeout. Mavericks trail by four. Dinwiddie right side. Passes it to Finney Smith. He kicks it to Bullock. Now Hardaway. Pass to Wood. Here's Finney Smith. Here's Dinwiddie. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal foul. First two foul. Shooting for Dallas. Spencer Dinwiddie. Two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. Oklahoma City leading by 4. There's the pass to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Dort. 
Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. Boy, you've got to have a tight handle to make that kind of move. Luke Dort, show off. Outside Hardaway. And it's off from three-point range. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop so far in overtime. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Uh, to me, that's where the frame of Lee Dort helps, right? He's so big and strong from the guard position, he can take contact. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's an eight-point game. What we know about Lou Dort is this guy is an excellent defender. He's got size, strength, versatility. You can basically throw him at the other team's best offensive weapon night after night. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Here's Wood. Hardaway passes to Finney Smith. In the corner, Hardaway with it. Here's Wood. Holmgren with the steal. Pushing it up. Trying to get open is Giddy. Count that one for Dort. What an effort by Luke Dort in transition. Gets up the floor, makes himself the best option. The Mavericks have gone one of three from the floor since the start of overtime. Pass to Wood. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. And that's a big shot from Wood when they needed it most. He's always been steady as a shooter and now somebody you can trust in the clutch. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And so they foul intentionally. Second personal foul. So the first one drops and that makes it a seven point lead. Ogodoncic, he's checked in for the Mavericks. So he gets them both and it's an eight point game. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. Looking to end his cold spell, and Dort gets it to go. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Doncic, no good. And they've been a different team here in overtime. They, they just seem to have lost their energy. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for them in overtime. Yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire, but give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime, and then this win has to feel satisfying. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.